Hi guys, it's me, Shiva. So in this video, I'm going to share five super awesome science experiments, which you can do at home and have as much fun as we did. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one is color explosion. Okay, for this experiment, we need a plate, some whole milk, and some food coloring and some dish yolk, mm -hmm. and we need some Q-tips. <laughs> okay. Now pour some milk, whole milk, into the plate. And then add some food coloring in the middle. Mm -hmm. Green too. So what is happening here? Okay, Shiva. So what is happening is, milk is mostly water. Water molecules have positive and negative ends. Water molecules in the milk kind of create a skin on the surface of the milk. And this dish soap has negative end that latches onto the positive end of the water. So when you dipped the Q-tip in the dish soap and put it in the milk, as the soap interacts with the fats, proteins, the water and the colors, they kind of swirl around. You see they are dancing. Did you see that? Yes. Okay, whatever. I did not really get the positive and negative thing, but I really enjoyed it. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, guys, let's move on to the next experiment Coke explosion. Shall I put two or one? Put two. Alright guys, so what's happening here is, as the Mentos candy sinks in the bottle, the candy causes the production of more and more carbon dioxide bubbles. And these bubbles react with the carbon dioxide that is still dissolved in the soda to cause more carbon dioxide bubbles to be freed and create even more bubbles, resulting in eruption. Oh, okay, I get it. It's because of the carbon dioxide bubbles. It's also really fun watching it. All right, guys, so the next experiment is the floating candle. For this science experiment, you need a lighter or a matchstick, a glass, and some water. Okay, start by um, pouring the water in a plate and then put the half, right? Yeah, the candle should not be totally drowned in the water. Add. We can also add some food coloring to make the water a little bit brighter. Now you need to a help of an adult. Okay, now let it burn for a few seconds and then The water is going inside. You see that? Yes. There's some more water inside than outside. Yeah. Inside. Do you know what is happening? No. What is happening is no. high pressure, high air pressure. Oh. And inside the glass, no. when the candle pops out, kind of the air is getting contracted. Okay. The cooling air creates low pressure inside. And here in the room temperature, it is high pressure. So always air travels from high pressure to low pressure. So what is it doing? The air, it is pushing water inside. The higher air pressure surrounding this cup is pushing the water inside the glass where it is low pressure. Here, suppose you say here and here. The air here is high pressure. Here yeah. the air is low pressure. The air from here, it travels from high pressure to the low pressure. That's how wind is also caused. Oh, that's how. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. Try it once again. Do you want to try? It's hard. It's hard. Okay. Let it burn for a sec or two and then wait. If you may have noticed, it's taking water from here inside. See? <laughs> Alright guys, let's move on to the next experiment. Leaky bottle. Okay, so for this experiment, we need a tub. I think you can do it near the Yeah, or a sink. And you need a, a pin. You know. 
And you need some food coloring just to like. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to make three holes, one hole on the top, one hole over here, um, and one hole over here. Open so the lid. Now if we open the lid, and why this is going further than this one, it is because, see, yeah, so it's, it's going further than this one because there's more pressure on the bottom than on the middle. Yes. And this is going further than this one because there's more pressure in the middle than the top. Yeah. Yes, Shiva, you are absolutely right. With the three holes in the bottle, you can see the difference in pressure. The water flowing out of the bottom hole goes out much farther than the water flowing out of the top hole. The bottom hole has more pressure because it has more water above it pushing down. This one, this one, All right guys, let's it. move on to the fifth and final experiment, rotating cup. For this experiment, we need a big box like this, a plastic box, or, or, or the sink, and we need some water, two straws, one foam cup, one pen, some string and a scissor. Holes here. I will put some holes and give it to you, Shiva. Okay? Just right opposite to this, here. Just a little bit above from the bottom. We need to make it straw size. Yeah, and you have, you have to cut the straws equally. Uh, above this bendy thing you have this, right? Just one inch above and one inch below. Okay. In the middle, the bent part. Yeah. Put yeah. it into here. This. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. We will bend these straws. Okay? Mm -hmm. Bend the straws in the same direction. Opposite. Same direction. How it the same? This is this way, right? Mm. This way and this is also this way. Like this. Oh, same. in a circle. Yeah, in a circle, in the same way. Okay? You bend them. Hold it. Now see the magic, okay? Now it will rotate faster. I'll bring the water. See, then my mom is pouring the water. You see, you it's see rolling. the cup is moving in the opposite direction. The water is moving this way. You see that? Yeah. What's happening here is air pressure pushes the water out of the cup through bent straws. But Newton's third law tells us that every force has an equal and opposite re-force. This means that the water also pushes back on the straws causing the cup to spin around. Oh, I get it. So it's basically like and when you press the spring down, it comes back up with the same force. Yes, it is Newton's third law. All right, guys. I hope you had a great time watching this video and learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay, I don't think we'll get this. Let's take a different bottle. Yeah. We need to buy one. My hungry say. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>